Welcome to the third video in this series, How to Use Evernote to Raise Your Grades. This is part three and it discusses creating notes. The most important part of Evernote is the notes, which makes sense because that's where you'll be storing your information. So it'd be important to know how to create notes. Well, it turns out that there are three different ways. You can use the File Menu option, where you see four options, New Note, New Ink Note, New Audio Note, or New Webcam Note. Next to each of those, you'll see the second option. You could use the key combination. If you're like me and you find these hard to memorize, don't worry. They're always in the File Menu. A third and simple option is to go to the New Note drop-down in the main part of the menu bar. Here you'll see the same four options, New Note, New Ink Note, New Audio Note, and New Webcam Note. Let's go ahead and make one of the new notes. This will be a simple text note. When you go to make your first text note, this pop-up should appear. Go through the steps that they discuss and you'll understand how to make notes. First they suggest typing text, then you could drag and drop whatever you like. Images, audio files, PDFs, they'll be stored right here in your note. Finally, you can copy and paste from here to anywhere else. Here's a couple of important tips that I use when I'm making notes. First of all, limit yourself to one important piece of information per note. For instance, if I found a three-part presentation that I really wanted, I'd break down the parts of that presentation into each main point and store the information under three different notes. You might think, well, that's not that important. Why is he telling me that? Well, here's why. Down the road, you may have hundreds, thousands of notes. Remembering that one of those points was the sub-point to a main presentation may not be at the top of your mind when you want to find the information later. So it's best to store it under the simplest name possible, which would be the name you're most likely to look for it under. Go ahead and name your note exactly what you would look for when you're looking for that piece of information. When you put your text in the note, as I will do here, there are a number of formatting options that you have. You can change the font face, font size, font color, and the justification. You could add a bulleted or numbered list, and more. As you begin to make other notes, you'll experiment with other ways to use the note editor and find the ways that it works best for you. For now, I'm going to move on to ink notes. Go back up to the main menu bar and click on the drop down, New Ink Note. Now, before I start drawing, I need to point out up here, you may notice that your drop down has changed. It used to say New Note, and now it says New Ink Note there. Well, the drop down still works under the arrow. If you want a quick way to create an ink note, then all you have to do is click that button there and it will pop up. That works whatever note you created last, it will create another one of those same notes. For now we've got a blank ink note here and you see all the different stylus options. You can use a pen, felt tip pen or a pencil to doodle here and make your drawings. Where these ink notes come in most handy is on a tablet PC or on an iPad where you have the option of using a stylus in your hand to make these text notes. The screens are very responsive and enable you to make very accurate drawings or jot down quick notes. Once you're finished with your note, then you will store with a title. I will discuss titles in video 5. The third type of note is a new audio note. Click on that and you will see the sound bar here it is registering the sound for my voice. You'll see a record button and a cancel button. After you record your voice, then you can go ahead and save the note. This would be great if you are on the road somewhere and you want to take a quick note or if you just met someone or are even in a presentation and you want to record part of it for future reference, you can quickly record it, save it, and go back to it later. The final type of note is a webcam note. In your new note drop-down, you'll see new webcam note as an option. 
I can't actually take webcam notes while I'm shooting this video, but I can walk you exactly through the process. You'll click on New Webcam Note, and a window will pop up. This only works if you have a camera or a webcam on the computer that you're using. Assuming you do, the video will register with whatever is in front of the camera lens, and then an option will let you take a snapshot, or you can take a video of the sequence in front of you. Click Take Snapshot or Take Video, and you will be able to store the note that way. This is great for if you won't be able to jot down a note to remind yourself, or if you can't record the audio from whatever you're seeing, but if you want to record a video of a neat ad that you saw, or a product that just came out, this is a great way to do it. You can take a quick video or a snapshot and look it up later. That will wrap up the Creating Notes video. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to make notebooks and stacks. Notebooks and stacks are where you store your notes. I think you'll find that video very helpful.